Studios. You have been given full access to the Players' Lounge on the Sports Jack Show with Wayne Gandy. Welcome back to the Sports Shock Show. I am the Sports Shock Wayne Candy. Uh, what do you do with your cannabis? Do you smoke it daily? Do you sell it daily? If I gave you 100 pounds of it, what would you do with it? Uh, Kenny would disappear. Truth would be um, home sleep right now. And I know what you two guys would be doing over there with it. <laughs> Uh, but 100 pounds of this uh, product, 100 pounds of hemp, has been used to make a car. Um, our guest today, Bruce Dietzen, uh has invented the first uh, hemp cannabis-type car. Uh, it looks like a sports car. Uh, he's out of Key West, so it's always beautiful to drive with the tr top down in Florida. Um, and we just uh, wanted to know how this works, and, and does he really feel like there's an industry that is waiting uh, for this product? Uh, I know Big Kenny is. Uh, he's figuring right now how he can come up with 200 grand to get him one of these cars. But uh, good morning to you, Mr. Dietzen. I know how to get two on a dial. <laughs> good morning to you, Mr. Dietzen. Good morning, Wayne. How are you guys? Oh, we're doing great. Just sitting here. Uh, I must ask you, and, and I know you. it's your uh cannabis like were you doing different things with it before and this just became you know what when you was doing those things i can make a car out of it well yeah let me let me clarify something first wing the car doesn't cost two hundred thousand dollars that's how much it took that's how much i needed to uh, spend in order to develop the car oh okay uh, the cars for people who want to buy one of the cars, it starts out at forty thousand dollars and then goes up depending upon how much power you want, and it can go all the way up to six hundred and forty horsepower. So, um, but uh, uh, I'm not actually the first guy to build a uh, car out of hemp. hemp. Um, I'm the first one to do it in the United States since Henry Ford did it in 1941. Okay. Okay. And. Uh, when he did it, it was kind of interesting. When he did it, uh, his plans were to make all cars in the future out of plants. And he used uh, more than just hemp. He also used soy, soy beans and uh, a few other things. But uh, his vision was to make all cars out of plants and to fuel them with plants. So he actually created a car back in 1941 that was almost carbon neutral. It was three times greener than a brand new electric car today. So that's a really, really huge, huge accomplishment. And when you think about where we are with the climate situation that we that we're facing right now, well, we're really going to have no choice except to make cars like like what I'm making right now in the future because we've got to have cars that are a lot greener than electric cars are today. A lot. As a matter of fact, they in order in order for us to turn around the situation that we're in with the climate, we're going to actually have to be driving carbon negative cars and that technology is available today and that's where we have to go now are, are this making cars this way are they lighter um how's the material as far as impact as far as getting in a wreck uh well you've probably heard of a carbon fiber right yes okay it's not quite as strong as carbon and light as carbon fiber but it's pretty close um so uh but the entire structure is is very strong on the car. Um, you're, it, it, as far as getting into a wreck, I, I don't think it's any different than, uh, say, a regular fiberglass or a steel car. Uh, Bruce, good morning. This is Big Kenny. It's uh, the styling is reminiscent of the Jaguar E Type. Is that where you got your inspiration from? You saw a little bit of in there. That, that great. Yeah, exactly. That, that's one of the cars. There's actually several different cars. I, would, I didn't want to copy any particular car. But the E-Type is one of one of my favorite cars of all type, all times, and, and it's just a beautiful, beautiful car. Yes, so there is some element of the E-Type in there. And, and it's made out of hemp. How is it powered? Is it, uh, is it it's right. not electric? 
Um, the, the, the body itself right now is made out of hemp. As we go forward, we're going to make more and more of the car uh, out of hemp uh, plastics as well, because you know, all plastics can be made from plants. They used, all plastics used to be made from plants um, 80 years ago. So th we're trying to revert back to that, get away from the fossil fuels altogether, and try to eliminate it as, as many carbon-positive materials like metals and, and uh, petroplastics as possible uh, in the design and, and the manufacture of the car. Um, but as far as the, the motor that's in the car, um, people can choose to either have it powered electrically or by internal combustion engine. So it's really up to it's it's up to our customers to tell us which which type our train they want to put in. And uh, um, hi, Mr. Deaton. This is the truth. Uh, regarding the um, internal combustion engine, what kind of fuel would would it be used? Would it be regular gasoline? Yes. Okay. As a matter of fact, it's kind of interesting. Um, see, I'm, I'm really trying to follow in Henry Ford's footsteps, and when he made his car back in 1941, it was running. It could run either on gasoline or on uh, advanced biofuels, and he was running it on advanced biofuels. He made his fuel from the cannabis remnants from where he was growing cannabis. Um, so uh, that's a, that was a second-generation biofuel, even way back then, which is about 85 to 87 percent greener than today's gasoline, uh, gasoline cars. So I've gotten a hold of a little bit of... Uh, some of the uh, third generation biofuels, which are even greener than that, to show that any car can run on on these types of fuels. And that's really where we need to go in the future if we're going to uh, really address the climate change situation. So the car will run either on biofuels or on gasoline if you have the internal combustion engine. And of course, uh, if it's electric, it's electric. And as far as hemp goes as a material, why is did you select hemp as opposed to any of the other fibers that can be made from other plants? Um, hemp is the, the, the fibers that uh, come off of a hemp plant, which can grow all the way up to 14 feet tall, are perhaps one of the strongest fibers in nature. Um, there are a couple other plants like flax that are almost as strong. But uh, another reason for using um, the, the, uh, the very strong, uh, durable uh, fibers from the hemp plant is that there's also byproducts from the hemp plant, you know, like, uh, like the cannab cannabidiols, uh, I'm sorry, the, the cannabinoids that are being used to uh, treat people with cancer and Parkinson's disease and epilepsy, etc. And I also hear that some people like to smoke. The plant. <laughs> yeah, it, it's a mood enhancer too from the, yeah. from all the numbers that I've crunched. Uh, <laughs> yeah. um, but that's a that's a slightly different variety of the cannabis plant, and uh, that's not what that's not what this car is, has anything to do with, by the way. So, yeah. Um, um, now if, that's that's why I got. Okay, thank you. Another mm -hmm. question that I have is the the big automakers. A lot of their business is predicated, and they support a lot of people through the use of uh, metals and aluminums and the fossil fuels, are you getting any pushback from the auto industry at large? No, I'm so small that, you know, I'm not, a, you know, most of them probably have, well, maybe some of them heard of what I'm doing, but I'm so small I'm not going to get any, any resistance from them. But I hope to be meeting with them uh, over the next year, as many as I can, and just show them what I'm doing and maybe I can inspire them to do the same sort of thing. I think it's, it, I think that's where we all have to go. And uh, um, quite frankly, if it, I don't care if, if I share information with them. It's, it's what we have to do, you know. And, and so all of your uh, stuff is patented, I'm going to assume, right, and copyrighted, and you're, you're covered that way? Uh, the design is, um, but, the, uh, but the, there's no way to really uh, patent uh, this process right now. There may be in the future as we as we uh, perfect more of the processes that we're we're doing. But then again, I may share those too. I mean, the, uh, Tesla Motors has has shared all of their patents with other manufacturers in order to encourage the idea of electric cars. So I may just do the same thing with the with the uh, with the hemp body car okay. too. I guess I don't know. <laughs> 
Mr. Deason, are you a, a car enthusiast? Is, is this what motivated you? Are you one of those guys that you go and, and pull up the garage and there's classic cars everywhere? I, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I used to have a garage. I had, I had eight cars in the garage. I had some of them were hanging from the ceiling. But um, the, the ones that really inspired me were the European um, cars, the European um, sports cars and the European race cars, and more so than the, uh, than the American cars. Because back in the 1950s, the Europeans thought, and this is their inspiration for how to design cars, the European designers thought that women were sexy, while the American car designers thought rocket ships and jets were sexy. Mm -hmm. And I personally believe that the Europeans got it right. Yeah, right. okay. I think we all agree. <laughs> which, which is a great segue into my question. It's a sexy looking car. How do the women respond to it in Florida? Um, not not too bad. <laughs> <laughs> that, that means I got four with me right now. <laughs> well, my last question before we let you go, and thank you for uh, calling in, is uh, 640 horsepower. That's that's a lot of power. Yeah, that's the high end. One of the reasons, uh, um, well, it, it, in that situation, what we do is we have uh, we have a third party that we work with that has uh, um, put in uh, put in high end Corvette motors onto the chassis that we chose, and so they've done it over and over and over, and uh, they they just make screaming cars. So you're talking about. 640 horsepower and about 2,900 uh, pounds of weight. So the power to weight ratio is somewhere in the neighborhood of uh, a super exotic car that cost in excess of a million dollars. So, I mean, it's an insanely fast version of the car, and we're starting to build one right now. But uh, it, it's it's crazy, So, but a lot of fun. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, Mr. Deason, for calling in. And uh, the count of us okay, going. Pe you, people that smoke cannabis will never drive it that fast. So <laughs> that we'll be back more to sports. Yeah, talk. I don't smoke. I don't smoke it myself. So, uh, uh. <laughs> well, thank you. There. We'll okay, be back. guys. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. We'll be back.